What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Pisces, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for South Pisces. This is an if you have Pisces in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and mid heaven, Jupiter chart. Stuff from basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for Sign of Pisces. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 405. I have uh, some slots open for personal readings, but they're uh, most of them are filled up. So if you're interested, you have to text me to book. And I have a new service called Life Coaching if anybody's interested. Love you guys so much. I really, really, really do. Um, and thanks for all the new subscribers. I appreciate that as well. All right. So um, this is for Sign of Pisces. This is for Zanay, if you have Pisces in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, and Haven, or Jupiter charts. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, World, Thame, and Haven, Jupiter charts for additional message or messages. As always, this is a free general collective reading, so you have to plug the message or messages in your own life and personal situation if they apply. Don't be forcing anything that doesn't fit, okay? Spirit messages here have Sun Pisces. I did receive a couple of channelings for Sun of Pisces as I was meditating on your energy, Pisces, uh, for the second week of October of 2022. And the first one, I heard um, I heard one of you guys was under severe stress, but you're trying hard to hide it. For one, your stress has been relieved. And I heard financial stress, specifically for Category 2. So for one, you're under some kind of duress and stress. I feel that could be financial. It could be emotional. It could be relationships. It could be business. I mean, some kind of stress energy, whatever it is. It could be workplace, whatever it is. But you're trying very hard to hide it. That's situation one. For situation two, you're not under stress. Two. You're not under stress. But there was some kind of financial stress in the past. And it's been relieved. Business. Business picking up. Business picking up is what I just heard. So category two, you're not under stress. But it was all, it sounds like it was mostly financial stress in the past. But it's because your business is picking up. So you're a business owner in category two. Category one, you're under stress, but you're trying hard to hide the fact that you're under stress. Um, um, how that resonates. Category one is about to backfire in a huge way. People, no. Category one is about to backfire in a huge way. People, no. So category one, you're trying hard to hide the fact you are under stress, but people know, and it's about to backfire on you. Category two. You had some kind of financial stress in the past, but it sounds like you're a business owner or owners and it's being relieved. Your business has been picking up. So congratulations for category two. You plug in how it resonates. And then I received another one. Uh, the other one I heard was a uh, uh, Pisces tarot reading business is under heavy investigation. And I heard it's not going to go well. That, that was the second one I heard. So there's two situations in the first one and then the second message. Um, some, by, some Pisces, and I heard specifically a tarot card reading business. It's under investigation. I heard it's not going to go well. So whoever this is for, I feel it can be masculine or fem Pisces. Um, there's a reason. Uh, money laundering. Money laundering is what I just heard. Money laundering. Oh, shit. So I feel you can be masculine or fem Pisces and there's was either money laundering currently in the tarot card reading business or there was. How that resonates and applies, Pisces. Only you know if you've been involved in money laundering or not, Pisces, okay? But it sounds like it's under investigation. Maybe that's why one of you guys is under stress. Maybe you know you're under investigation for your tarot card rating business because of money laundering. Maybe for some you don't. Only you know if you participated in money laundering and you're a tarot card reader. Um, and obviously, whoever that's for, that's a karmic tarot card reader. Um, if you participate in money laundering or have participated in money laundering. And I'm just being for real. Spirit Miss Sydney Sheriff Son. A doctor and a nurse is about to be caught having sex in a hospital soon by someone they would have never expected. 
And this person is not going to cover it up. This is about to become very significant to one Pisces. Oh my God, am I? Whoa. Okay. So you plug it in, don't resonate. Man. A doctor and a nurse is about to be caught having sex soon in a hospital. So they're not even doing it outside the workplace. God. It's in the hospital, I heard. So I don't know if it's in the medication room, the room closet, um, an empty room, or where. I didn't hear specifically the location or where they're going to be caught having sex. I'm presuming probably like an empty room or a medication room. Well, those usually have cameras. That would be smart. Um, or um, an office. It could be an office, maybe doctor's office. Or the or a, um, a janitorial closet or something. But however that resonates, I heard they're going to be, uh, they're about to be caught soon. Soon! Soon. Caught double confirmation soon. They're about to be caught soon. It's about to be, they're about to be caught by someone they would have never expected to catch them. And whoever's about to catch them, they're not going to be afraid to speak up on it. The, um, whoever this is. And um, they're about to speak on it. It is about to, it's about to go very fast, very fast, all around the hospital and the city. It's about to go very fast, very fast all around the hospital in the city. So this um, workplace literal sex in the hospital, I don't know. I feel this might be a fair energy, possibly. Possibly. I didn't hear it was, but why are they having sex in the hospital? They don't, if they're wanting to date, they should plan the date outside of work. They're not waiting. They're doing it in the hospital for a reason, is what I'm saying. So... Somebody's about to catch them, and whoever's about to catch them has a lot of confidence in themselves, and they're about to play about the blab it all around. I heard it's about to get around the hospital. It's about to get around the city. Um, um, and it's about to go fast. And through many series of chain events, one of these people will be let go. Oh, my God. I heard it's about to go fast. And through many series of chain events, one of these people will be let go. So I don't know if the doctor's going to be let go or the nurse is going to be let go. But one of these people is going to be let go. But, you know, they should wait. If they want to do something like that, they should make a plan for a date and do it at their own particular dwelling. There's a reason they're doing it in the hospital. So I think one of them's married or in a relationship and is trying to be secret. But it's about not to be secret anymore. Um, and whoever's about to catch them, they're not going to be afraid to speak on it. And it's, I heard it's about to go all over the city and the hospital. And through many series of chain events, one of these people is going to be um, terminated. Um, and it's significant to one of you guys. So I don't know if one of you guys is the doctor or the nurse, or you're going to be one of the people about to catch them and you're going to speak on it. You plug it in how it resonates, but there's a reason they're having sex in the hospital. If your loins are that much on fire and you're really into that person, get to know them over a coffee. If anybody needs to hear that. Frog and nightingale, barrel, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals, bat. Take care, enemies are working against you. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. That could be the, um, I feel the combination of these two is one of you guys under severe stress and you're trying to hide it, but it's about to backfire. Somebody knows you're under severe stress. The journey, either physical or mental, and take care, enemies are working against you. Experiments to each share with like this. Too many. Experiments to do something. Stillness. Number 33 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 33, it could be the possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 33, stillness. Frog. An upcoming funeral is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. And an upcoming wedding. Oh, wow. An upcoming funeral and an upcoming wedding is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. So, um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Some kind of funeral and wedding energy. For some, it could be a water sign getting married or passing away um, or an air sign. We have water sign, air sign energy or any other sign. 
But I feel for the funeral energy, it's going to make you sad. We have the raindrops. I equate those to like tears, tears of sadness. I think it's going to make you sad. Uh, whoever's about to pass away, I think you might have been close to this person or had love in your heart for this person. However, that resonates and applies for the funeral. Now, for the wedding, um, we have the frog energy. So I feel for some, uh, I hate to say this, but I feel for some, you don't want this person to get married. And I'm just being for real. You most certainly do not for one. But for one, they would be tears of joy. Okay, it's confirmation. Okay, so for one, you don't. You don't want the person to get married, so it's going to be real tears. Like tears, like I think a person that got away. Tears. Um, I think for some, you wanted this person that's about to get married. And I feel for some, you're about to have to watch it in the form of uh, sitting in the stands in the wedding party. Or either in the wedding party and watching this shit. Or sitting in the audience being invited to the wedding. Or hearing about it from somebody else being invited to the wedding. Tears of sadness because you wanted one of these people about to get married. For one, it's going to be tears of joy. You're going to be happy they're getting married. So, um, tears here. Tears, tears, tears. The raindrops are tears. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Wedding and funeral. Whether they're happy tears or sad tears. Okay? Nightingale. A very significant patient complaint, some in a skilled nursing facility, some home health, some a hospital, is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. For some, you're going to receive the complaint. For some, you're about to be complained on. For some, you are the patient's family about to make the complaint. For some, you are the patient about to make the complaint. Oh, my Lord. You, whoa, heavy patient complaint energy. Whether you're the patient about to make the complaint, the patient's family about to make the complaint, the um, person about to get complained on, or you're the person about to receive the complaint. I feel in the corporate conglomerate. Um, it's either in a skilled nursing facility, a hospital, or home health. However that resonates and applies. Heavy corporate conglomerate energy, whether it's skilled nursing facility, hospital, or um, um, home health. Whether you're the patient about to make the complaint, patient's family about to make the complaint, um, the person about to get complained on, healthcare professional, or or supposed healthcare professional, or the um, uh, person about to receive the complaint in the corporate conglomerates. Um, but some kind of very significant patient complaint upcoming. Nightingales are very loud and proud. They use their beaks to speak up. Heavy patient compl um, heavy complaint energy here, and I feel it's on healthcare professional staff or supposed healthcare professional staff. Um, Using your beak, speaking up. Congratulations for the ones about to speak up. Um, people try to oppress and suppress people all the time through retaliation and through targeting, harassing, bullying, and gang stalking. Congratulations for the ones about to speak up, or the patient's family, or the patient. Um, or the one about to receive the complaint in the corporate compliance hotline. Hopefully you are upright with honesty, truth, clarity, and integrity, and you actually do something about this to help the families or the patient, and not sweep the shit under the rug. You might need to hear that. It is a very significant complaint. It is very significant. And if something is not done, they're going to keep complaining. Know this. It is a very significant complaint, very significant complaint. And I heard that they do, if someone does not do something about this, either in the skilled nursing facility, the hospital, or the um, home health, Whoever this is about to complain is about to going to keep doing it, whether it's the patient's family or the patient. So you guys plug it in how it resonates, okay? One of you guys is about to receive the complaint in the corporate con uh, conglomerate. So hopefully you do something about this the first time. But it's one of you guys is going to be complained on. So only you know your situation story, not anybody else, okay?
Beryl, you feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. For one, your teenager, you're about to find out your teenager is pregnant. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. For one of you guys, you're about to find out your teenager is pregnant. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Oh, my Lord. I'm so sorry. I have a teenager. I couldn't imagine. I could not imagine. Um, whoa. Okay, so for one of you guys, you have a teenager. I'm a feminine teenager. And I feel it could be your biological child or a foster child, but I feel for a majority of you guys it's biological. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. You're about to find out this teenage daughter of yours um, is pregnant. I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. My God Almighty, it shocked the hell out of me. Of course, my daughter knows, she knows better. She knows better, she knows better. And she's gay anyways, but whoo, no, my God. For one, a breakup is about to become very significant. It's about to blindside the hell out of you. For one, a, oh my God. And for one, a breakup is about to become very significant. It's about to blindside the hell out of you. So for one of you guys, a breakup is about to become significant. It's about to blindside you. So some, um, somebody's about to speak up and say they do not want to be with you anymore. For one of you guys, um, some kind of love situation here. Um. At least they're speaking up and being honest with you, though, and they're not putting you in a sneaky link or third party if anybody needs to hear that. Yes, breakups are hard, but they really, truth and honesty and clarity with the beak energy and the nightingale of speaking up and breaking up is usually the best route. And yes, it might cause heartache and tears and sadness, but it, it really is the best way to heal and move on. Because if you know, you can move on and find somebody that truly cares about you. Uh, if anybody needs to hear that, and I'm just being for real, if you, I feel at least one person needs to hear that. So one of you guys about to get broke up with, yes, you'll probably cry. I mean, I'm sensing a lot of tears here. Um, but And the person's going to be truth, honesty, and clarity. They're going to speak it out. They're not even going to be. But it really, trust me, I've been broke up with a lot of times, and I have broke up with a lot of people a lot of times. It is what's best, man. He, um, move it on. Keep it trucking. Because you don't want to be led. Puppet string. You don't be puppet string. Who the hell wants to be puppet string? Not I, said the little red hand. And I'm sure you don't either, Pisces, masculine or feminine. So yeah, it's probably going to hurt. And yeah, you might cry. And yeah, you're probably going to be in your feels. But trust me from experience, a 39-year-old woman, it's best to keep it trucking. And that's just the truth. So upcoming, what are you guys about to get broke up with? But wouldn't you rather know now before it happens? So hopefully you can emotionally, you know, Look for it if you feel this resonates for you. Oh, I mean, whoever this is for, I think it's a boyfriend girlfriend relationship or a uh, committed partner relationship, or maybe even a fiance, maybe even a spouse. But it's better to know. Trust me, I've been divorced one time. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. The divorce was. I've been broke up with a lot of times. I have been broken up. Uh, I have broke up. It was the best thing, baby. It didn't feel like it at the beginning, but it really was. Be my needs to hear that. So I feel you're going to be lacking um, love in this situation, but um, I've heard in here it's going to be the best thing for you. You're not going to see it right away, though. Trust me from experience, you're not going to see it right away. But it healing, healing, you got to heal, heal it, and just keep moving forward. I think you're going to be shocked, for one, stillness. I think you're going to be shocked. For one, you're going to be very shocked. I heard blindside in here. Yeah, one of you guys about to get blindsided. And I picked that up in Scorpio's reading too, about a breakup and a blindside. One of you guys about to get blindsided. The stillness, you're going to be in shock energy. You're just going to sit back and I think you're going to be like, because you didn't expect this person to break up with you. But they are about to do it. They're about to move on and move on quick. They're about to move on and move on quick is what I heard. So whoever that's for, they're going to move on and move on quick. They haven't broke up with you yet, but they're about to. I think they're in the planning strategic um, phases of um, planning the breakup nicely upon you. 
but I heard they're going to move on, move on quick. So I think they're going to expect you to move on, move on quick too. I think you're going to be shocked. So hopefully this can help you before it happens. Okay. All right. I didn't hear anything else. And one of you guys about to find out your teenage daughter is pregnant. Carriage, a journey, either physical or mental. A horse-drawn carriage ride is about to become very significant in Pisces' life. It's going to be magical in a city. Oh, I love those, and I've done that before. It's so amazing. It's amazeballs. Oh, my God. Take me, take me, take me. Okay, so a horse-drawn carriage ride is about to become very significant for one of you guys in a city. So in a city and nice urbanized area, a horse-drawn carriage ride with horses, horse or horses. I've done it before. It's so amazing. I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, congratulations. And we have the carriage here, a physical carriage here with horse or horses. It's so amazing. Oh, my God, I've done that before. It was so amazing. Congratulations, whoever that's for. So a physical journey here in a horse-drawn carriage, a real horse-drawn carriage. Um, I think it's somebody out there, um, they're obviously offering the service for the horse-drawn carriage and the horses. It, you feel you feel like a princess. I'm just saying you do because I've had it. I've done it before. For one, there's about to be a huge medication discrepancy in a skilled nursing facility. You're about to be caught in the middle of this. You don't think it's going to turn into a huge thing, but it is about to. Watch your counts. Watch the people before you. Watch what's being put on the paper. Oh, my God Almighty. Oh, my God. Okay, somebody works in a skilled nursing facility, if this resonates for you. Let me go turn the light on real quick. I'll be right back, okay? Okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. Woo! <laughs> I hit my knee and it didn't even hurt. <laughs> Sad endorphins. Okay, so for one, you work at a skilled nursing facility. And I heard um, there's about to be a serious medication discrepancy soon. Um, okay, so you work at a skilled nursing facility, meaning, and you have access to medications. So you have to be, you're not a CNA, if this resonates for you. You're not a CNA. You're not janitorial staff. You're not maintenance. You are either an LPN, masculine or feminine, or RN, masculine or feminine, or administration, um, with a certificate, like a nursing license. You, ha you have to be authorized to access this medication, is what I'm trying to say. You have to have the credentials, certifications, licensure to access this medication. And it, if you're in a skilled nursing facility, you're, it's not a CNA and it's not janitorial staff, it's not maintenance. I'm just telling you that right now. So you have to be an LPN, RN, or um, administration with nursing licensure to access this medication. Whoever you are, I heard there's about to be a serious medication discrepancy. It hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming. Watch the people before you coming on the shift. If this resonates for you, watch what's being put on the paper and watch the counts. One of you guys is about to be in the middle of this. I heard you didn't think it's going to become a big thing, but it is. So I, I don't know if it's going to be one off or 50 off. But if it's one, even one off, there should be a problem. And that's just the truth. There's even one off, there should be a problem. That I've worked too long in skilled nursing and hospitals and too long in healthcare. If it's one off, it should be a problem. If it's one off with me, it's a problem. I'm serious. No, it has to be correct. And that's just the fucking truth. 
Now, some people like to slide that shit under the rug. Nay, 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 fucking nay. I like my license. I like my life. And I like to protect myself. And that's just the truth. I heard you didn't think it was going to be a problem. Meaning, I think you used to, I think whoever you are, you helped sweep something under the rug in the past. Or you did sweep something under the rug in the past. Or maybe you, somebody, somehow there's going to be a med discrepancy. Meaning, saying there's a certain amount of medicine in the med car. Nar I'm feeling nar it's narcotics here. This is not Synthroid. This is not uh, Calcitrol. This is not Hydralazine. This is the NARC drawer. This is the NARC drawer. I've worked too long in skilled nursing. This is a NARC drawer, you guys. You didn't think it was going to be a big deal. It's about to be a big deal. It's about to be a huge deal. A huge deal. A huge deal. Double abuse of combination of uh, confirmation. A huge deal, man. Okay, the spiritual download in that was watch what's being put on the paper. Watch the people before you and watch the counts. It's the NARC drawer counts. It's the Norco. It's the Oxy. It's the whatever, the morphine. Watch it, you guys. Watch the people before you. Watch what's being put on the paper. I think somebody's working too many hours or somebody's not paying fucking attention and they're just putting whatever. But it's somebody before you, and they're just they're just trying to get off to go have dinner with their whoever, whoever, and they're not paying no attention, but it's going to end up backfiring on you because when you took the keys over to the cart, you accepted it, is what I'm feeling. And I'm only saying this because I've been there. So I'm not, one of you guys needs to be careful. If something is all, okay, for new nurses, new grads, or anybody, if something is off on that piece of paper, on the documentation, on anything regarding the narcotics before you start your shift, you have the right not to accept those keys. And whoever you are, I would ex exercise that right. Because if you don't, you're about to end up getting in the middle of some serious shit. I heard it's going to turn into a huge deal. I think this is a mental deal. With the workplace. It's in a skilled nursing facility. Take care. Enemies are working against you. It's this negligent person coming on shift before you because they want to get off and go have dinner at Jack's or get off and go hike two miles with their BFF, new BFF, or whatever, whatever. Somebody needs to be careful. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious, man. I've worked too long in skilled nursing facilities and hospitals. Too long. Somebody needs to take care. You've got negligent people coming before you on a shift in a skilled nursing facility. And I'm just being for real. Bad, take care. Enemies are working against you. A Pisces eyesight is about to severely decline. Severely decline. Black magic backfiring. It's about to happen quick and it's about to scare the hell out of you. Oh my god. Whoa. Okay, so for one of you guys, you are uh, either a black magic wielder or a former black magic wielder. And I heard your eyesight's about to decline severely. Drastically. Um, I heard it's black magic backfiring. So whoever you are, you are a black magic wielder either in the past or currently now. And it's a black magic actually backfiring, boomerang energetically upon you. Because you know it could energetically boomerang upon you or other people. In this case, it's you um, um, in the form of declinal of eyesight, if this resonates for you, Pisces. So take care. Enemies working against you. That's the dark side wanting their payment, basically, in the form of energetic Declining of your eyesight. Yikes. All right, it's going to scare the hell out of you. So for some, I think you might need to get contacts or glasses or something of that nature if you don't already have them. Scorpio Feminine is about to make a huge 
terrible call in a ball game situation. She is a coach. It is about to piss you off in a huge way. A huge way. It was a bad call, and you're about to stand up to her. She is going to be pissed you stood up to her. That's not normally what you do. You're a very high vibrational Pisces. Once you stand up to her, she's going to talk mad shit about you. Know this. But it was the right thing to do. Oh, my God Almighty. Okay, so if this resonates for you, you're a high vibrational Pisces. You're about to speak it out. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. I heard she's a Scorpio coach. She's a femme Scorpio coach of some kind of ball team. But somehow, I think you might be a coach, too. I didn't hear you were. A, a coach as well. Okay, it's confirmation. You're a coach as well. Okay, so you're a coach as well. Uh, I don't know if she's a head coach or she's an assistant coach. I think she's above you. I think she might be a head coach or one of the head coaches or maybe you're an assistant or ancillary or something. She's used to you just going with whatever she says is what I'm saying. That's why I think she's above you, high vibrational Pisces coach. I think she might be the head coach. Um, you're a Pisces feminine. You're a Pisces fam. So she's a Scorpio fam. You're a Pisces fam. She's a, I think she's a coach above you on this ball team is what I'm saying, Pisces fam. I think she's a, this Scorpio fam coach is like a head coach or assistant coach or something. And you're like an assistant coach or ancillary coach or something of that nature. You're underneath her. I feel because I heard you're, you, she's used to her, you just always going with what she wants you to do and what everything she says and blah, 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 blah. But she's about to make a huge ass wrong call in a game, some kind of game situation. It's going to piss you off. You're going to stand up to her, but she's going to be pissed off. You, I heard it's going to be the right call because she did make the wrong call. You were in the. It sounds like you're going to be in the right here. It hasn't happened yet. You're going to be in the right here. Uh, high vibrational Pisces, assistant coach or ancillary coach or something like that. You're going to be in the right here, but it's going to piss her off because you stood up to her. Sounds like you haven't stood up to her yet. You're about to. And once you do, it's going to um, piss her off and she's going to gossip about you to other people. It's about to backfire on her in such a huge way. Such a huge way. And it's about to make this ball team go down in a huge way too. Okay. So you're about to stand up to her because she's about to make a huge wrong call. And yeah, absolutely. I, I, I'd stand up to her too. Absolutely. But it's going to piss her off. So she's going to blab and slander your name and, and gossip about you all over to everybody in the mama. But I heard it's going to backfire on her. And probably to the other people talking shit about you. She's talking shit to about you. And it's about to make the ball team decline. So she needs to take the constructive criticism and listen to what you're saying. But she doesn't want to because she's used to you just going with everything she says is what it sounds like here. But um, kudos to you for about to stand up to her. It's actually about to benefit you in a huge way. It's actually about to benefit you in a huge way. So it's actually about to benefit you. Because it's about to backfire on her. I think all this gossip train shit. And it's about to make the team go down. Which is sad. Uh, coaches are supposed to be leaders. They're supposed to be leaders. And they're supposed to do what's right for themselves and their ball players. Doesn't sound like she. It sounds like she's in it for clout, fame, and status. Um, her career is about to tank in a huge negative way. Her career is about to tank in a huge negative way. So her career is about to go down. But it sounds like because she's about to bring this ball team down. And that's just the truth. Um, but it's about to benefit you. So I think you standing up to her is about to be the beginning of the rise of you and the decline of her is what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. Kudos to you, high vibrational Pisces femme, coach, assistant coach or ancillary coach or whatever you are, sir, ma'am. I feel she's above you. But you about to stand up to her to this bad play or plays in this ball game situation is about to start create a series of chain events of her decline and you're up you're up uprisal here. I don't think you realize this, but that is what it's sounding like here. Um you're a very high vibrational Pisces femme coach, and you could have Pisces in any aspect of your chart. Kudos to you, ma'am. Stillness.
a gag order that a judge placed in fall of 2021 is about to ruin his career. It's an earth sign judge. Oh my God almighty. Whoa. A gag order that a, ju a masculine judge placed. Um, earth sign judge. Earth sign judge. A masculine earth sign judge towards Capricorn Bur Virgo judge placed in her fall of 2021 is about to ruin his career. For one, you are about to be shocked. For one, you knew this was coming. For one, you're about to be shocked. And for one, you knew this was coming. So stillness, shock energy. Um, for one, you're going to be shocked. For one, you knew it was coming. So you're highly intuitive. But it's a earth sign judge. A Taurus Capricorn Virgo judge. He put a gag order. Um, uh, it sounds like a very wrong call gag order on something in the past. But it sounds like it blew up on him or is about to. Um, it's about to make his career plummet down. So, um, however that resonates and however you're connected, Pisces, okay? You plug it in how it resonates. And for one, Pisces, you're about to find out about child abuse. For one, it's it, people in your family. Someone in your family is about to get arrested soon for child abuse. You're about to be shocked. Oh, my God Almighty. And for one of you guys, you're about to find out about child abuse in your um, family. And a fam one of your family members is about to be arrested for child abuse. Um, Pisces. You're about to be shocked. Stillness. Shock energy. Um, somebody in your family is a child abuser. Um, and they're about to be arrested for child abuse, and you're going to be about to be shocked. I, I guess you never thought it was going to happen, but there, it's about to happen. It's about to happen. You were nervous. You thought it was going to come, and it is going to come. You were nervous. You thought it was going to come. For one, for one, there's at least two of you. For one, you're nervous. You thought it was going to come. It's going to come. For one, you're going to be shocked. So there's two of you. One, you were nervous. You thought it was going to come. You were waiting silently. For one, you didn't think it was going to happen. You never thought they were going to get caught. And you're, um, they're about to get caught. You're about to be shocked. So like two arrests here, they're both in your family. If this resonates with you, whether you knew it was coming, you were praying and hoping and praying it didn't come to prote protect your abuser family member, I'm presuming. No, nay, nay, nay. We don't enable abusers over here. That's just the truth. We don't enable abusers. Not in this household. Just one person in this household, but I don't enable abusers. You might need to hear that. Somebody likes to enable abusers. Nay, nay. For one, you, I guess you didn't realize your family member was an abuser or you never thought they would get caught. They're about to get caught. Shock energy or waiting to see and it's about to happen. And I heard it's about to happen soon. Okay, so I feel guided to pull a tipper for you guys. I didn't pull it for any of the other signs so far, but I'm going to pull one for you guys. For the sign of Pisces. Messages. Okay. Child. Child abuse. You can't make this shit up. And it popped out. Child abuse, man. Number 18 can be a very significant number in one's life. Number 18. Be a possible age of a child or you're somebody you're connected to. Child. Child abuse. I felt guided to do it. I didn't do it for any other signs. Somebody's being child. Somebody's family member is about to get arrested for child abuse. And a pregnancy, a fair, a uh, workplace affair pregnancy is about to become significant. Secret workplace affair pregnancy in a hospital. And a secret workplace affair pregnancy in a hospital is about to become significant. So some kind of workplace affair in a hospital. Um, in this aspect, child is pregnant, um, pregnancy, gestation in the womb is about to become significant. Somebody's having an affair with somebody in a hospital. It might be what I was picking up earlier in the reading. With the nurse and the doctor. Physically getting about to get caught physically having sex in a hospital. I'm feeling it might be that or it's somebody else in a hospital having a workplace affair. How that resonates and applies, okay? Pregnancy, though. This is pregnancy of somebody being in an affair in a workplace um, situation in a hospital. Whether it's that doctor and that nurse about to get caught physically having sex or somebody else in a hospital situation in a workplace affair that's about to end up pregnant 
You plug it in how it resonates and child abuse. All right, I love you guys. Namaste.